Hi, I'm Vivian Spencer with the Writing Center at Southeastern, and in this video we will discuss 10 grammatical ways to end a sentence. This lesson will help you learn how to exercise style and voice in writing. There are three common and conventional ways to end a sentence. Sentences can end with a period. This is a simple and clear solution to indicate where one sentence ends and the next begins. Writers can use a semicolon as a soft period when the two clauses are closely related. And writers end a sentence with a comma and coordinating conjunction. This is useful if the two sentences are long or contain internal punctuation. These are all reliable ways writers can end a sentence. There are four debatable, less common ways to end a sentence, but many writers use them well. A period and coordinating conjunction. Out of the less common methods, this option is used most frequently to emphasize the importance of the second clause. A semicolon and coordinating conjunction, often used when writing long sentences with internal punctuation. A coordinating conjunction alone, this can be considered an error by some writers, but it can be used to signal a close link between short grammatical sentences. And a comma alone, which is used less frequently because some writers consider this a mistake called a comma splice, but it can be used if the sentences are simple, short, and closely linked in meaning. This method should be avoided if there are other commas already present in the sentence. It is helpful to know your target audience when using these methods to enhance your writing. There are three ways to end a sentence for writers who want to distinguish themselves from other writers. The colon, which acts as an introduction to an illustration, example, or some kind of outcome. This method can create a balanced sentence structure and sound. The dash, which is a less formal option than the colon. It acts as a dramatic pause and indicates a revealing afterthought. And the parentheses, which also indicates an afterthought or side comment. It also indicates a non-essential piece of information. These stylish choices make for striking writing that adds meaning and creates a distinguished voice. With these 10 ways to end a sentence, you can now exercise style and voice in your own writing. Don't forget to check out these resources and our channel for more tips on stylish and grammatical writing. This is Vivian Spencer with the Writing Center at Southeastern, and thanks so much for watching.